Hi everybody, welcome back. We're gonna start this video today where I left off yesterday. I've actually painted the monster truck tractor, which was actually fabulous to tractor. Painted a primer uh, gray in anticipation of getting it ready to paint the same color as Butterstop here. So let's move our um, display paper. I use this yellow paper for a background to take pictures. And uh, let's get the uh, tractor back in place. Oops, this guy really tips over easy. Did you notice that? So now I'm gonna put the first coat of brown on um, going to be sputter stop racing tractor let's put the camera on the tripod and get set up okay I got some deco art brown paint I'm gonna put a big blob of it here yeah, that's pretty much the right color let's have a look see there's sputter stop I'm not sure should I yeah we'll see what two coats look like okay let's put that over there and let's get the brush okay I'm just gonna take probably more than one coat so I might just put the second coat on um, off camera, but I just want to show you how it's going on first. It's on Sputter Stop has green wheels, green bottom, and a gray motor and a gray stack. So I'm gonna, it's gonna be a little while getting this done right. So I'll probably skip ahead. You know, when, when I'm off camera, do a little extra work. I don't think you want to watch a half hour video, but I'll try and narrow it down to 20 minutes if I can. So this is the first coat of brown on Sputter Stop Racing Tractor. It was a request by one of the fans that likes watching these. Pixar Cars Customs, and I really appreciate everyone giving me suggestions. Actually, you know, it's going on pretty good. I might not even need two coats. It might be uh, quicker than I thought. The important thing is to get it all done, and um, it's going on pretty good. What do you think? If you guys are watching the premiere, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate that too. Some people catch the premieres every time, and it's really neat. The same people pop up in the chat and say hello. You know, you can do that too. Just go to the chat and say hello. I'll try and reply with your name if I can get there on time okay I'm gonna have to put some gray ah oh, I got some gray paint I may change my mind and just go with the gray on the windows and paint around them maybe I can do that right now see how it looks I'll have to patch it up later and the eyes have to be done separately the eyes on sputter stop are half white with a brown dot in the middle so I can get that done I'm gonna do the top now it's hard to hold this tractor because it keeps falling over it's really really um oh, I did the whole window brown look oh well I'll go back to the gray again later it's no biggie I'll use the same primer gray. I'll just do the whole thing brown and then do the eyes later and fix it up. And that'll be one of the intricate parts. This will be just painting it brown and put the green on later. And I won't do the spoke stack if I can help it. That has to be done in gray. But, this, but the, the radiator cap is all brown too. And so with the grill, these tractors all have personalities and I don't know what, the, what they are obviously because they only showed one tractor in the movie. That's this one here. And the rest were during the Cars 3. They had a bunch of tractors chasing down Lightning when he was learning how to race. Remember that? He was in the, the dirt track days trying to learn how to race like old Doc Cousin on the dirt tracks. He's racing through the fields. How many people saw Cars 3 more than once? Raise your hand. I bet you saw it a few times because I saw it at least three times. And I could watch it again. It's a pretty good movie. Cars 3 I think was the best of the three. I like Cars 1 because it was the beginning. And Cars 2, I like Cars 2, but not many people did, so I'm not going to judge it because I still like Cars 2. Um, some people say they didn't like it because it was too advanced for kids. But it was okay. Okay, here we go. It's going to be hard to hold this because it keeps falling backwards. Um, and how many of you out there watching have, are making um, Pixar Cars Customs yourself? Uh, there's a few collectors watching this, I know that. And some of them, they're making really good models. Um, I can't compete with that. Those guys are really intricate. Intricate, yes, that's the right word in how they make their models and mine is kind of like Well, I'm doing it on camera. I'm doing it for entertainment and I'm doing it for fun um, I make a lot of uh, videos out of these cars as you know many times I painted the car more than once the same car um, I don't know what happened to um, my um, carbon fiber McQueen. He's there somewhere uh, My original one I think I painted it over a long time ago So I think somebody told me don't paint it, but as usual I didn't listen to them. Okay, I'm just gonna let this sit here and see if I missed any. And see, it's very, very top heavy. I'll have to fix that later with some gray. I'll do it again. And let's see, the engine stays gray. The engine stays, stays gray. Uh, yeah, and there's a green on the bottom. I'll get that mixed up later. And the wheel is green. That's going to be fun to do. So I can't wait to get that done. So let's leave that dry. This is the first coat and probably the only coat of brown I'm going to put on that. Butter stop tractor. It's pretty good. It could be darker, I guess, but uh, I think when I get the number on top, 82, and the green stripe on the top, and uh, some white here, it's going to look pretty good. Okay, we'll come back when this dries and pick up from there. 
Okay, I mixed up a little bit of paint. It looks like it matches pretty good. Uh, I'll show you the tractor in a sec. It's exact same color as the wheels. So what I'm gonna do is hold the wheel, the paint's dry here, the brown paint's dry, and do the whole wheel in green inside. And I'm gonna paint um, the outside of the wheel white when I'm finished. I got this paint that's kind of dry now because it's been sitting under the heat lamp a little bit. So this paint's a pretty close color. Uh, it's gonna be different not to have the red wheels on the tractor because those real red wheels were designed to be the same color as Doc Hudson. Remember the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the fabulous Doc Hudson. Okay, here goes. I'm gonna do my old trick where I turn the wheel around and do the entire wheel. But I'm having a hard job because the wheel is actually on the table underneath my other finger. So, a little tougher. Look, that's a little, that looking really good. I'm gonna do it the outside in white, of course. And now the other side. There's a little bit of green on the tractor. Not a whole lot, but it'll be just enough to uh, to have little accents show up on the tractor green. Okay, here we go. It's gonna be a nice looking tractor when it's done. I wanna thank the person who recommended I make sputter stop. He wanted me to make it first, and then I was out at Walmart and I found the actual tractor, so it's kinda of made it doubly good because I had the original tractor that I can use as a guide, and I had the Doc Hudson tractor. The tribute to Doctor Doc, Doctor Hudson. Doc Hudson. Okay, let's look at the back. So, the stop is right here. There's a green spot on the side here, and a bit of yellow. And the number 92 is back there. So let's hold it up and get a spot here green, and another spot here green, and a little bit over here green. Now there's nothing on the top, so what I'm going to do is um, do the gray window later. But there is a green stripe on the top, right here. I'm gonna line them up side by side, see if I can get a comparison. There's a green, looks like a racial stripe right here. And another one goes over the front a little bit. Came pretty nice. Now on the side, yeah, there's a bit of green uh, where the engine is. See that? Um, I hope I have enough paint. There's some here. And there's some here. Let's see, that looks pretty good so far. What do you think? And there's a little more on the side right here. Is there any in the front? No, there's a big, I just noticed there's a smile face there, so I have to put that on white later. And on this side, um, there's green under the engine again, and two green stripes on the top. So let's do under the engine first if I can. Nice stripe there. Look, I made just enough paint in the green. Okay, now there's a stripe here, and another stripe right here. That came pretty nice, the green nails are near the side, no. I have to come back and put the eyes on in the gray. So let's leave that dry while this uh, sets a bit, then I can do the stripe on the wheels, the white stripe on the wheels, and the smile, and the numbers. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, now while I got the, uh, waiting for it to dry a little bit, I'm going to put the gray around the windows, and on the smokestack. So let's get my paint out again. I got a little gray right here. I'm gonna use a, a smaller brush. Okay, hopefully I can do a better job. Okay, let's see how that looks. Push this away. Here goes the gray on the window. And um, let's see if I can get it pretty, pretty straight, actually. I'm getting better, I think, as I make more and more of these customs. Some people say I'm doing a great job, but you know, it's not that easy when you're talking and trying to do the camera work and stay focused on what you're doing. That came pretty nice, I think. Okay. Just around the corner a little bit more, see if I can get that around it. Sputter stop the monster truck tractor. Hmm, that sounds pretty good. Okay, now the hard one. This is going to be a little bit harder. These are the ones that I was dreading doing in gray. Let's see how it goes. They're easy to do one color because they just paint the whole side of the tractor. Actually, that came pretty good. Perfect, and I'm gonna do the smokestack while I'm here. I may as well, because it's right there. There's not much to do on it, because I did it before, and I didn't get much paint on it. So let's uh, turn that around. Smokestack's pretty good. Yeah, a little more in the back. There's a bit of red there for some reason. Okay, the last window, then I'll be able to take a break. And when I come back, I'll put the, um, the eyes on, and some white. Because there's red, white on the wheels, and there's white in the eyes, and there's some white on the sides. Too much paint there, I think, on that brush, but see if I can work with it. Getting there, looks pretty good.
there. There's the gray windows. That came pretty good. Uh, let's see how that looks. Yeah, it's exactly like it. Okay, so let's turn this over see if I get the same thing there. Uh, a little more here, I guess. That's what I'm going to get finished. Okay, good. Okay, I'll leave that dry now and I come back. And I think I got some paint here by mistake. Yeah. Um, cover that up with some brown. Still got some brown left over there. Yes, I do. There, I cover that up. And is that brown or a reflection? It's a reflection. Okay, no problem. Okay, we're going to leave that dry now. And when I come back, I'll put the white on. Looking good. Okay, looks like the gray is dry. I'm actually using the heat lamp again, and my monster truck with the bad wheel is propping it up. <laughs> so I'll get my white now, and then I'll put the white on. I have a tiny little brush here. I'm gonna try and hold the wheel up in the air as I spin it to get the rim of white. I'm gonna be very careful about this one here because it's really important this looks good. Okay, here goes. So far, not good. Okay, it's better. slower than I thought because the wheel doesn't want to spin smoothly. Okay, y'all watching this here? Pay okay, very close attention to this white rim. This is what makes the, the wheel look so cool on Splutter Stop. There's a white lining inside there. Don't look too close on the inside because I made a mistake. Um, hopefully you won't see it and I'll do a better job on the other side. I don't want to go back patching up um, the green what I did. It's a bit of too much on the inside but I think from the angle you won't notice when I take a picture. So I'll just ignore that and see if I can do a better job on the other side. This seems to be too much paint. See, that's not too bad actually. Look, it came pretty good. Okay, now to the other side. Okay, be careful. Don't make a mess. Let's see if I can hold it better. It's not that easy to do like five things at once. Um, okay, here goes. Here goes. Here goes. Here goes. Here goes. Try and go this way, yes. Okay, going around pretty nicely. Some more paint on the brush. I got to clean my workspace up before the next video. The one, this one here will be up Friday morning, Good Friday, and I'll hopefully I'll have another one up Saturday and Sunday. Those are my good days now. The rest of the week, I'll try and do something. This is going to be a long video too. This is a, a nice one. Sputter Stop Custom Monster Truck Tractor or something like that. Okay, not monster truck. Okay, that's perfect. The white on the black. Now, where's the white on the tractor? Number 92. See what I mean? It's very hard. This truck is tractor very unbalanced. I'm gonna try and do number 92 on the top. Let's see, it's just like that, right across here. It's gonna be hard. I'll see if I can do it slowly. Not bad. And now the two is gonna be even harder. Okay, check it out. And the eyes, I'm gonna try to do the eyes right now, then take a little break. I have to make sure this dries pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna go halfway up the eyes. And there's a line across the top of the wheel with the line on. It's gonna go white bottoms and a brown spot for his eyes. That looks like the tractor. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, now the other side. Right in the way, oh, sorry about that. I don't know what you saw or missed there. I'll have to watch when I play it back on the camera. There we go, that's perfect. Nice, and there's a white on the side. Just number 92 over here. I uh, won't be able to do that with this, so just gonna make a little squiggle. And that's gonna look like 92. And on the top, it says sputter stop. But I won't be able to write that, so I'm just going to make a little squiggle across the top here. So it looks like some writing. You wouldn't see it from away. You know what I mean? Okay. So that's the white. And there's a little stripe here. In white. Yes, I know. And it goes like this. And one on this side. Like that. Okay, we'll come back when this dries and I'll put the eyes on and call it the video. It looks good so far. Okay, well, I'm waiting for the rest of it to dry. I'm going to make the rest of the wheels black. They're not supposed to be red. So I'm just going to cover that black there, same as the one. I'll compare them both when I'm done, don't worry, and hopefully that'll come out pretty good. Um, when I do the side-by-side -side comparison, you can be the judge and tell me what you think in the comments. There, that came good. Get some brown paint there, some brown paint there, and some white there. I can fix that up. And when I come back, oh, I got some black in the grill right here, right? Just a bit of black in the grill on each side. I'll show you that too in the end. 
and also some black in the eyes. So once I do the brown on the eyes, we'll finish off the eyes and we'll have a look. Okay, leave that dry and we'll come back in a minute. Okay, we're down to the final stretch. The eyes are last. And there's a big brown blob under the, right here on each side. It looks like a tractor eye. It gives them the entire personality. Okay, that one came good. Maybe a little bigger because they are big eyes and they're kind of flat at the top. There's supposed to be a, a black rim across there, is there? I'm not sure. straighten that a little bit. Now I'm going to try and put a black dot on each one. Oh, that came good. Yes. Okay. There is the final product. I think that's it. There is number 92. Sputter Stop. Sputter Stop. Sputter Stop Racing Tractor in Monster Truck Wheels. What do you think? Is it close? Oops, you be the judge. You tell me in the comments. I know the color is not exactly right, but I got the grill right. Um, the eyes are a little, you know, they're always hard to do. Um, other than that, you'd never mistake that for a sputter stop. You'd always, you could not mistake that for anything other than a sputter stop tra racing tractor. There. What do you think? Okay, guys, leave a comment in the comment section and give me more suggestions. Thanks very much for watching.